I love flying 1S whoops, especially uh, in the house and for indoor racing, and this one is currently my personal favorite. Um, I think it might actually outperform any 1S whoop uh, that I have built and flown so far. It's just so fast, um, it's so agile, it's so efficient, um, and it has less voltage sag uh, than I think I've ever seen on a high KV brushless whoop like this. So I'm pretty excited about it. I have been having a ton of fun with this, and that's why I want to show you some flight footage. But right now I want to focus on three things that I think are important to the efficiency of this build and how it flies. One of them is the props. These are made by Beta FPV. They look just like the Ishin quad blade props. Uh, as far as I can tell, they perform the same as the Ishin quad blade props. So you could get either one of those. It's funny because this prop style, if I'm not mistaken, was originally designed uh, for little toy drones and I'm still using it here. I just haven't found anything better. I like these better uh, than this style of prop, like comes on the Beta 65X. Um, these work, uh, but I feel like these are more power hungry, um, and I just like the way these fly. So the next thing I want to show you, if you look down in here, these are the Happy Model 19,000 KV 0802 brushless motors. And if you haven't tried 0802 motors on a 1S build, I highly recommend it. Um, they work out really, really well. Compared to the same KV, like this is the 19,000 KV 603 motors that I used to be running on here. Um, the 802s are just way more efficient. That's going to give you a longer flight and less voltage sag. You're going to have a more consistent throttle response. I'm not saying these are bad. I had a lot of fun with these. In fact, I've already posted video of flying around my house, flying around races. This build with the 603 motors was really fast and snappy, uh, especially in really small spaces, and I loved that. But if I use too much high throttle um, or continued on high throttle for mo more than just a moment, uh, the voltage stag really started to bother me. I really enjoy the consistency of the throttle response. I feel like I've got plenty of power. If I need to punch up over something, even super late in the flight, um, it's pretty awesome. So the last thing I want to talk about for today is the pigtail connector for the battery. When I first had this drone, it had a connector like this. This is what's on most drones today. Uh, they feel pretty nice, but if you look inside, these have folded metal connectors. It's part of the crimping that makes it up. I think they're cheap to manufacture that way. Uh, but some time ago, I switched it to these. These are the official um, PH2 connectors designed and manufactured by JST. They make a more secure connection and they have solid pins on the inside like this. Back when I made that change, I felt like there was a significant uh, reduction in voltage sag, uh, but I didn't get any measurements. Since then, I've talked to lots of people online who have done the same change, um, and every single one of them has said that switching out just the connector uh, made a big difference for them. So if you're happy with your build, you don't feel like there's a problem with voltage sag, then that's awesome. Just go out and fly. Uh, but if voltage sag is getting in your way, uh, you might want to consider replacing the connector on your pigtail. There's lots of uh, different versions of this connector out there, so the only one that I recommend is the official one designed and manufactured by JST. I get those from DigiKey, and they come in a straight pin version and a 90 degree version, and there's links for those in the description below. They're super cheap, so just get a bunch of them, and then you can share them with your friends. There is one other thing that's different about this pigtail connector. As an experiment, I decided to change the 24 gauge wire to a larger 20 gauge wire. That added 0.4 grams to the build, um, but I thought it made an improvement in performance, at least under extremely high throttle situations. That was the topic of my last video, but I decided to take that video down um, until I could do more investigation. So I'm not going to try to guess whether or not it would be worth it for you, but I'm just explaining what happened to that video. And if you're wondering, yes, this is the build with the 20 gauge wire. So enough about the wire gauge. I want to get on to the fun part of this video, which is the DVR footage. Sometimes I set up a track in my basement uh, just to have some fun after the kids go to bed. And I'm going to show you some of that. This track turned out to be pretty difficult and I didn't have a lot of time to practice it. So this is not going to be beautiful flying. Uh, you're going to see me bashing all over the place. Uh, but this is real world whoop flying. This is kind of what it's all about. Um, I have a great time with this and I think that'll come through in the video. Uh, thanks for watching. You can leave your questions down in the comments below. I hope this is interesting and helpful to you. Happy flying.